New at 6, an eye-opening report released today. It shares new information on the radioactive waste in the St. Louis region. Thousands of government documents say contamination risks have been known since the late 1940s. But it wasn't until decades later when residents learned about the dangers. Our Justina Cornell looked into the report. Oh, boy. Gathered together, environmental activists scour through documents dating back decades. Each page is a picture of the past. The government had and has had opportunities to save lives for decades, and they have simply chosen not to. For years, the organization Just Moms STL has advocated for change regarding the radioactive waste in the St. Louis region. And on Wednesday, the co-founders say they're validated. I've spent 10 years of my life being told by agencies that I'm hysterical. The Missouri Independent and the Associated Press uncovered thousands of documents. Now, St. Louis was a key player in the first atomic bomb in the 1940s. Since then, those materials moved from the Mallinckrodt Chemical Works in downtown St. Louis to Westlake Landfill, Coldwater Creek, and Walden Spring. Their report shows federal agencies, including the Department of Energy, knew about the risk of radioactive waste but ignored it and were indifferent about it. New documents show there were known risks by the end of the 1940s. You have a situation, they acknowledge some things happen, and then you think to yourself, you get ready to flip the page and you think, okay, they're going to do the right thing on this page, right? You flip it, and then they are discussing how they don't want to worry the public. What's worse, worrying the public or letting them get cancer? The reports show federal agencies repeatedly downplayed the contamination as minimal and low level. The report says the earliest known public reference to Coldwater Creek's contamination was in 1981. It wasn't until 1990 when the Westlake landfill was declared a federal toxic Superfund site. Co-founder Karen Nickel notes this hits close to home. I grew up in Hazelwood, uh, moved in in 1973, not too far from the creek. Uh, the creek would flood up into our neighborhood. When I did some research back in 2012, there had already been 15 people that had passed away just from cancers. While the news from the past weighs heavy, activists are ready to carry that weight, coming together to change the future. This is not a Westlake issue. It's not a cold water issue. It is a St. Louis region issue. Nobody's going to deny that we're harmed now. Justina Cornell, five on your side. The Mallinckrodt plant has been closed for years. The company has not responded yet, and neither has the Department of Energy. A representative with the EPA says they have released results of its remedial design related to the Westlake landfill. Next Tuesday, the organization Just Moms is hosting a meeting to discuss those details, and a representative, we're told, from the EPA will be there.